Can you tell me why you should squat barefoot? Squatting when you are wearing running shoes affects your squat technique. If you squat barefoot, compressible soles don't get in the way. I could do just as well then in incompressible soles. The gym may not let you wear those, especially if they are hard black soles that scuff the floors. Wearing shoes protects my feet. Unless you are wearing steel-toed shoes to the gym, shoes won't make a difference if you drop a 50-pound weight on your foot. Wearing shoes sometimes affects your balance. You can get hurt trying to squat a weight out of the rack or losing your grip. Shoes won't make much of a difference in either case. The only advantage I see so far of squatting barefoot is avoiding the cost of buying new shoes. There are weightlifting shoes. They are designed to increase your stability and avoid hill compression. That's even less use than the cross trainers I can wear on casual Friday or my jog to the gym. Going barefoot means your feet get more airflow. That might reduce their risk of athlete's foot. And by sweating all over everything, they get more stuff nasty. Even MRSA has been spread by skin contact with workout equipment, and these guys are putting their bare feet on the mat. Some people think that going barefoot gives you more ankle stability. It also makes some of the muscles work harder than if you're wearing shoes. If it was such a good idea, why do all the guys in competition wear shoes? Shoes are mandated in competition. Wearing shoes gives you more grip when you're trying to lift. If your grip on a load depends on your shoes, you're lifting too much. Until I get to that point in my training. Until then, I'm burning through the calories and workout routines, sweating up a storm. Maybe that's why a lot of guys want to go barefoot in the gym. Fewer stinky gym socks piled up.